Hello everyone and welcome to the final battle of our Luther Harkon campaign for Curse of the Vampire Coast, the DLC for Total War of Warhammer 2. The time has come to go down to our final battle right here and since it's just south of Star Tower and I don't frankly feel like wasting three turns just sailing, we'll go ahead and just click teleport and get on the way down there. But as it says, there are some dark elves waiting on us and if you check enemy forces, it looks like one pretty good high tier army or two. But, ooh, you, two not exactly our best odds right there, but you know what? I'm pretty confident in my army in this case. We got some good depth guard, got a couple boomers, uh, and considering these things don't really take into account player skill, you know what? Let's roll the dice. Let's have some fun with this. Uh, let's take it in there and make it a final fight to remember, because personally, I have confidence in this final arm. The chart is plotted. And the sails below as the ship follows the course revealed by the map. Mm. The order is given. Drop anchor. Your crew descends into the depths. They really outdid the themselves on the these. Amana is <laughs> The ancient mailworm roars. In defiance or anguish, the predator is not used to the role of prey. <laughs> From the shadows comes another to claim the prize of slaying Lothan's guardian beast. Wolfheart's bane will become Fellheart's glory. <laughs> but you are in his way. Now, if you're not aware, that is the new Free LC Lord, a dark elf aquatic commander in charge of Black Elves, Lokir Fellhart, uh, who is now playable and free to do so on Warhammer's website there. God, that was kind of fun. I love that they uh, made sure to make it so that you can clearly see where they kind of substitute out whichever lord is right there. So I imagine every lord has this exact same final battle um, where they just replace whatever the guy standing there is inside the cave. And they're not going to let me pick where to put my guys, so I guess let's just uh, go right into it. Your hunt is over. The Merworm is not yours to slay. It is a creature of Mathland. What does this guy remind me of? And only I am charged to cull in his name. <laughs> it has been amusing watching your sea-racked corpses stumble and dodder as you track the Mad Max prey. Fury Road. But That's Amanar what this guy reminds me of. Guardian, a creature aligned to the Asser. <laughs> Who are you to interfere in such an ancient rivalry? The prize is mine, and mine alone. Do not the become addicted to water. Use is will make you envy of summit. That is cool. I wonder if they let us play with him. Well, I mean, if it's the final battle, we Prepare can't. <laughs> to face the Kraken Lord. <laughs> well, I guess we're about to unleash the Kraken. That's the idea here. Oh, look at that shadow. That is cool. What a gorgeous location for a final battle. You can tell they definitely put some time and effort into this. You know, it's such a shame, because, I mean, if this is the final battle, that means that the game's also over, I guess, unless you do a... Uh, continue for a domination victory, but I I guess that means you, I wonder if you can sermon the Merworm after this? That'd be really cool if you could. I mean, it's clearly fully animated, but I'm not sure how that would work in battles. I don't know. We'll find out at the end here. All right. Nothing for it. Let's charge our slow-moving crabs in while we let our Necrofex Colossi do what they do, which is lay down some cannon-based pain. Pretty confident in my final army here. Obviously, our reinforcements are delayed, which is fine. I mean, this is a good solid army. Got good solid tanks in it. And we have magic now. So let's... Oh, let's do something fun with it. Okay, apparently it's based on where I'm positioned. So there we go. Yes. Get a good wind spell. Let's see what we can do about wiping these guys out. And my own guys got in the way. And by the time... Let's see. Wow. I really cannot aim that at all. Well, that was a bit of a fail, if I'm honest, but it looked cool. And that's half of the battle. Problem with getting War of the Deep this late in the game 
is you've never used it previously, so never <laughs> try to use these spells. Find a likely enough path of guys and let's hit the spells on them. There we go. Not too bad. Didn't do a lot of damage, but eh, better than nothing. I think the best use of uh, Mr. Harkon here would just be flying around as Terror Guys do, and what Terror Guys do, which is uh, spreading fear. Oof. But our running Prometheans are getting dealt with very quickly here. Hopefully those Leviathans are there in a more tanky role. But fighting a one-on-one -on -one against the Hydra, they're going to need some support. So let's turn some guns onto these Hydras before our whole army just gets ripped apart. She says Leviathans really are just such cool units. I mean, one can take on two or three or more trash to you guys. Notice we Death Guard is already getting chewed apart down there. They're not really meant for sustained combat. Go in, do the damage, get back out. Not enough armor or health or unit numbers even to really keep them in for long combat. Same thing with the Banshees. And this battle, it turns out, will be a war of attrition. Room army back together. Everybody's running off. I don't trust what's going on here. Anytime of these quest battles, you know there's always going to be reinforcements somewhere. It's just a question of where. And this is the first time I'd ever played the battle coming into it, and oof, surprises will be forthcoming. What that rainy look. Alright, I don't want to chase these guys right now. Probably need to put them in guard mode. So we're getting a little far out and spread thin. Fight Bellhart's Vanguard. Okay, well, that's what these guys are. Yet again, let's get pulled back. Let's just fire at them. Let them come to us. We have firepower superiority. Let's not waste guys chasing them down. All right, all guns face on this guy. Come on. Put them down before they get to us. With the gunnery wipe, we shouldn't run out of ammo, so play the long game here. Terror Geist over here, use him to take out some of that back line. The Harkon holds us up right here. So one thing, now that he has extra levels of defense and is naturally a vampire, he becomes pretty darn not necessarily tanky, but definitely hard to kill. My um, understanding is that Noctilus, Count Noctilus, has even higher than that. Alright, let's see if we can actually hit him this time. Alright. I'll do pretty well, actually. It's really cool, this spell. First of all, Screw's been defeated, but... Uh, oh, no. Those Prometheans are not handling this fight well. Just think about the damage on those guys. They... For... Even though they're called defense units, they just don't hold the line the way you think they would. Uh, you'll notice I've entirely replaced the gunnery mob crews and especially the gunnery hand gunnery cannons. They just didn't do nearly enough damage. Prometheans are another one of those units that just... They're fine, but you get leviathans so quickly after. I'm not really sure what they're placed in this in the game. Especially when the leviathans do so much more. They're fine in the middle of the game, though, because, I mean, they're a mid-game unit. Makes sense. Even more guys. So basically, it is monkey in the middle right now. And we have 12 minutes of fighting ahead of us. <laughs> oh man. So that's why I said this becomes a war of attrition very quickly. It's how long can you hold this hill until the battle runs out. So all we gotta do is hold the high ground, get our cannons up on the high ground so we got plenty of good sight and keep shooting them before they get to us. So, uh, it's interesting, this quest battle is definitely designed for Vampire Coast. You, like I said, as long as you hold that high ground in the middle, you have good line of sight, so they're wanting you to use your range to create a simple as clearly when you make this. Come on, shoot the Hydra. <laughs> shoot the Hydra. Shoot the Hydra, come on. <laughs> All right, finally, it's going down. It's getting everybody back in one place, and you'll notice that there's a couple stray units that keep pursuing out to the edges because after they route, they're fighting outward again. 
keep trying to get in the habit of putting everybody in guard so they don't keep chasing them off right here. Especially if you have 12 minutes of this to fight through. Come on. Ah, the first of my reinforcements are arriving, and they are loaded corpses, which are not going to be useful at all in this battle. Come on. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Best doing some damage. Okay. Necrofix Colossi. Getting to a flanking position so we can actually shoot people. I'm going to try and hit him from the front. A few people from the front. Shield and armor are a heck of a lot more powerful if you hit him from the side or the back. They're going to gate it. Pro tip, ladies and gentlemen. Don't shoot him in the front. <laughs> Be a pirate scurvy guy. Get it from behind. Okay. Luckily, they keep bunching up, so that makes short work of it for our cannons. Once they keep bunching up, we will take advantage of them. And we're getting mobbed by bats, so... <laughs> That's right. Hit right in that big group. Any group of two or more really is priority. We don't want them getting to our Colossi, because those are our mobile tanks. We don't want them getting bogged down in melee combat. So, Rotting Prometheans all pretty much broke at this point. Leviathans are still going well, though. Oh, man. What the heck? Well, that's why that guy's getting hounded. It's hard to keep track with so many units when you're in these final battles. There's so much chaos going on here. Occasionally, I just let him auto-attack. Need a spell of some kind. There we go. Let's see if we can get as much as people at once. Alright. Wanted to cancel it out, because I couldn't figure out how to right there. Just press escape. Bloated corpse coming in. Okay, we do not want those reaching our Indians who are already wounded, so let's shoot it. Anybody that can, shoot the bloated corpse. Come on, shoot her! God, it's like that part of hell was deep and pretty Lord of the Rings. That guy's coming right at our line. Alright, come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill Oh! That did not work the way I wanted it to. Alright, <laughs> we're still in the fight, don't worry about it. Um, get these guys back on around here, pull him out of combat. We do not want them tangled up, dying prematurely. Everybody's starting to get the low health here. We've got to keep them together. Don't want anybody chasing anybody out into the nowhere. All right, uh, those are the reinforcements coming in. Uh, not exactly my best hopes here, but anything's better than nothing. Death guard, like I said before, good for offense, but in this particular phase, we need something that can hold the ground. So defense, but hey, we'll use them. God, more bloating corpses. Why? There's so many stupid bloated corpses in this match. Come on, here we go. Next wave's coming in. So what'll happen is the route reform, come back in again and again and again. So it's a matter of holding them back. So glad I brought a gunnery white, because without the gunnery white, we'd constantly be running out of ammo. Our medical damage, sure. Because they go to kind of toss grenades, which is what I'm gonna have him do there. Come on, folks. I want to hold some guys back right now. We seem to be holding it. Their own. Next Colossi coming in, so. It's going to be a shootout. Six more minutes. <laughs> you can feel the intensity on it. It's so funny. I used to play Warcraft 3 back in the day, which is awesomely getting a remaster back up, coming up in the spring, which I'm super excited about. But those timed missions are always the hardest missions, because you know that they're not just going to let you take it. Every minute you're in there, something new and more dire is going to be being thrown at you. And it definitely changes your mindset, where it's not about victory, it's about survival. It's like, okay, circle up, see what you need to do to be able to get that uh, timer to keep taken down. Keep my bloated corpses off to the side, I don't really see any projects of... Targets of priority. Okay, yeah, don't see any ranged over there, so maybe we can make it all the way into those melee, and if we can hit, that would be awesome. 
going to try and flank me, so let's get a Necrofex over to the left-hand side, start laying down fire. More units coming right down this channel, so we keep having to keep some sort of wall up, wall of units, wall of crabmen, whatever we need to keep them from getting in. Try and kill all the enemy lords as fast as possible, which reduces morale and leadership of the opposing army. Trench to grab and route them. Archon, now that he's on a mounted terror guys, is quite good at that, actually. Alright, not him, though. Him, I need to keep firing at these guys with, which are still coming in. Looks like our boy corpse managed to hit him because they're down about a quarter health. Jeez. It's a thing you don't have enough time to actually see if everything's effective right now. Come on. Any spell. Yeah, alright, fine. Alright. Terror guys. Let's terrorize them. Get them on the ground. Anybody that can. All hands on deck. Oof. Got a couple guys getting around behind us here. Gotta get some who is free. We need to find a free unit. Yeah, alright, just keep going in. They seem to be holding it. Ah, at best. Now that, we do have to keep thinking. Hurt some people. We can get them off my cannon. So you don't think about how much... The mortar may not kill people initially, but they definitely weaken them. And each additional shot, as long as it's continuing to fire, has to be kept going. So, that is worth diverting a major unit off them just to keep that one in play. We definitely don't want to lose it. With four minutes left. to hear it. Oof. The thing about Vampire Coast, not a lot of rallying happens. Your units just start to crumble. <laughs> you see that's what's happening with the Prometheans down there. And one of the Leviathans is just losing too much going on. Those Colossi, though, you know, still full health. I'm trying to keep them back, keep firing in, but uh, I do have a little bit of regeneration. Come on. Start using that regeneration on our big boys because we need to keep them in the battle. Yep, send Harkon over there, help keep helping the best because we need that gun to stay in play. Alright, one Colossi against what, seven units? Let's see how this goes. Let's bring in a second Colossi and a Leviathan. Like anything, because we can't use that left flank. Alright, come on. Need the cannon back, guys. Is it Harkon attacks? It's just so slow between them. Those stupid war dogs. Uh, more damage. Uh, nope, nope, nope. None of that will work. Alright, get back on the cannon. Forget them. I hate to use my enemy lord back here right now, but I don't really have anybody else who can get over there fast enough. Alright, yeah, I'll use my other flying guy. Put Harkon back on the front line. Because he's too valuable to be chasing down scurvy dogs with. Get back in there. Alright, it's one giant mob. That's fine. We're just trying to hold them in place while the cannons do their work. Jesus, that fucks Colossi. Just really are ridiculous as long as they're buffed up. Alright, come on. Keep shooting in there. Stand on ceremony, pal. Come on. Boom, boom. That's right. As long as you can keep the cannons on them, you're gonna win. Good night. It's pretty much my entire front line gone now. <laughs> They've all been eaten. Slowly but surely. So now it's just down to the range. Let's see if we can just keep shooting them long enough. Let's whittle them down. Jesus. Just think about having all those ranged guys. Once your front line goes, it's a question of time. Either you shoot them before they get to you, or you have to try and start backing them away fast enough. All hands on deck. Mob the rotting leviathan there. It's funny. The same units work well for me, work well for them too. Any spell that can help? Sure. Taunt it. Why not? Bring down that armor. Makes them easier to shoot. Oof. Shriek at it. Put some fear in it. Anything. Alright, turn Bess over to that huge group over on the left. See if we can take them out. That's why I needed to back spin around. 
There we go. It should hit. Come on. We're fighting that random spear guy. Keep the spawn battlefield. Kill the Kraken Lord. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, I really was hoping that that was going to be the fight, but apparently it's not. <laughs> there are more people appearing. So when they did a timer, typically win at the end. But they had another trick up their sleeves. <laughs> I said, a lot of fun on this fight, though. Jeez, they really outdid themselves. Making a fun final battle here that you definitely feel the intensity on. If I had known it was going to be like this, I guess I would have found a better secondary army. I, I guess. I don't even know how I would have prepared me better. I mean, I like my strong army. Right, where is the Kraken Lord? I do not see the Kraken Lord. <laughs> but as soon as he appears, I will kill him. <laughs> where is he? Oof. Here we go. Alright, there they are. Alright, get my gun line. Face him that way. Most of the armies are retreating going the other way, so we're going to need to blast this guy as soon as he gets in range. We do not really have a strong front line anymore. All of them are weakened. So, let's just start blasting as soon as we get in range, hoping nothing too powerful is in their army. <laughs> You'll notice that power bounce shifted so quick it was almost fully yellow and now it's gone back to being roughly equal again all right anybody who can still shamble away put them in place we can't let them get behind us we don't have time to mess around with these guys any longer though so we'll have to divert a couple guys just to hold them in place and hope they can hold them until after this main army is defeated come on all right anything to tie them up don't let them get the best don't let them get the best <laughs> Goodness, they diverted. Just fire into those groups. Uh, there's a Hydra coming. Need to concentrate on the Hydra. She's the least in clean with this back call. Got some bats, so we can get problems too. And why? They will not make this easy on you. Oof. Okay, Terror Guys, they're all lined up. Let's shriek at them or something. Anything to throw them off. Crumbling on the gunnery away. Crumbling on the banshees. Jeez, uh, Colossuses are still pretty good. Keep them healed up. I hope there's not any some more surprises after this because I'm not sure how much more my army can handle. <laughs> More powder, replenish ammunition of one of the Colossi, definitely. Alright, oof, he is pretty much toast. Alright, Harkon, Taunt, Hydra, oh, no, wait, no, here, there he is, there he is. He's mounted on a dragon. Alright, that's good, dragons are easy to shoot, and shoot a dragon. The one thing about those flying units, if you can get a hold of them, that's definitely who you want to hit. All right, dump every spell I have onto that guy. That, on the other hand, is a waste though, so don't worry about it. Okay, gunneries. Any colossi. Shoot the guy while he's grounded. Should go down pretty quick right now. We got four cannons and a lord all hitting him, so he shouldn't be able to get back up. All right, we do have people on both sides rallying, so let's move our leviathan back over here to try and counter that. Okay, apparently even that is not enough to keep that guy grounded. Come on. Bess, everything, hit the general. Those hydras are eating the army right there. Okay, also turn the lord. If he goes, the army should crumble. And if he goes for my cannon, though, are you kidding me? Ah! Seriously? He's running away at least. Alright, kill him. Don't, he will recover, I'm sure. Don't let him get away. Concentrate on hiders now. Okay. I hate to chase him down, but I don't want him to get away and come back and harass me again in a second. I, okay. Um, keep the cannons on 
those hydras. Gotta get through the hydras. Jeez Louise. Just so much help on those guys. Man, these colossi really do just wreck stuff. I wonder, uh, I think it's, um, Noctilus that boosts the abilities of Colossi. I can't even imagine how beastly he is in the game. That's the thing. Harkon does a good job with the cannons, basically, in some of the early gunnery units, but anything that boosts Colossi, I mean, these things are just, they're basically holding this army together right now. We would be coming back. Ha! Jeez. Alright, everybody else is running away, but that guy has to die, otherwise this fight will not end. Oh wait, that counts as killing the Kraken Lord. Okay. He's running away, so we'll take it. So we do not want him coming back. Oh! Okay. Oof. That was a tough fight. That was probably one of the toughest fights I've had in total in a long time, but man, was that fun. And we got our Chivo. Pyrrhic victory, right, but still a victory. Good night. Look at the number of kills on those Colossi. Like I said, I mean, if you can... In the Colossi and the Leviathans, those are what really held that army together right there. If you happen to get a lord that busts that, like I said, with Noctilus, jeez. I can't even imagine how much pain he could put down. I'm going to try his campaign next. That sounds like a lot of fun. The biggest problem with the Harkon campaign was you were just stuck on the Vampire Coast the whole time. Like I said, I mean, I got it put together and then they immediately just kept running onto my shores like they would attack my capital i'd go defend it that's a quest battle and just repeat it, it over and over and over again um it was fun but you know it, it definitely expected to sail the high seas as a pirate in reality i sort of sailed the rocky shores close by the kraken lord is defeated <laughs> his mantle of the sea's greatest pirate is almost yours but there remains another task to fulfill. The beast is lured to the surface. <laughs> Here it comes. Wolf oh, that's a wolf harpoon fight. yearns to be fired. Can we fire this? Now Can we take control? With charms hidden uh, within no, the ancient you can't. I was really hoping you could. That would be cool if I get a trigger here. Not quite how harpoons work, but okay. The lore of beasts to raise a beast. <laughs> that is cool. Amana has risen again, but its flesh rots, for it is no longer Althuan's ancient guardian of the sea, but an undead monster. Within your throne. You have the ultimate prize. A treasure greater than any jewel. And with it, your infamy will spread far beyond the coasts. The seas are yours. Its prey and plunder await. <laughs> you know, I'm really glad they added a ending cinematic it makes such a difference to make the game actually feel epic when you get to see something like that and as you can see right here it kind of takes the campaign away it really just starts off just controlling the vampire coast now that would be the one thing i'd say about the luther hardground campaign is it's very samey and you feel very contained the whole time you complete your objectives before you even leave the area uh, overall though uh, curse of the vampire coast uh, i think it runs for about 20 dollars for the dlc i mean that's the cost of a meal going out to eat somewhere so for me it's definitely worth it i mean i usually got 16 hours out of this it was enjoyable it feels very different from the other warhammer 2 factions so if you're looking for something that's got some good flavor to it you've seen the quest missions they're a lot of fun to play art style is great you know they definitely put their time and effort into this to make it look pretty cool so uh yeah i think it's an easy recommend for me anyway i'll probably go back and play uh, an octolus campaign next i want to see what he does with the uh Nucrifex Colossi. I'm curious about the units for Salt Spite and Direfin, especially Direfin, because she's sort of a Bretonian hybrid character. I'm curious how much that changes the campaign. But uh, yeah, overall, a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed watching through this. Uh, if you have a recommendation for what you'd like to see on my next 
playthrough, uh, please leave it on the answers below down there. And if you picked up Curse of the Vampire Coast, what did you think of it? You know, uh, obviously you've seen me play through it and I tended to enjoy it, but, um, you know, this is a channel that involves you guys too, so I want to hear what you have to say. So thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day out there.